is going to Washington, D.C. to the Nationals. That's what we're determining this afternoon, live from the KPX 5 studios as the CBS Bay Area spelling competition continues. That's right. We go back to our pronouncer, Stan Bunger. Thanks, Sharon O'Brien. And round five begins now, if my notes are correct. Speller number two is our uh, speller right now. The word is escambron. Sayo's treasured bonsai was a flowering escambron that she had tended for years. Escambron. 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 Can I have the definition? It's any of several tropical American thorny shrubs or trees. Um, am I saying it correctly? Escombron? Escombron, yes. Can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Can I have the language of origin? It's from American Spanish. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Can you read the word? Escombron. Escombron. E S. C A M B R O N S Cambron. Shalto. The string quartet played the divertimento shalto as indicated by the composer. Shalto. Shalto, may I have the definition? With freedom and without strictness used as a direction in music. Shalto, are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Shalto. Can you give me the language of origin? It came from Italian, which formed it from a Latin word. Shalto. S-C-I-O-L-T-O. -O. Shalto. I'm sorry, Veblenian. One Veblenian theory is that in economics, there is a fundamental split in society between those who make their way via exploitation and those who make their way via industry. Veblenian. Veblenian. Definition? Of or relating to the social scientist Veblen or his theories. Language origin. This word consists of an American name and an English combining form. Alternate pronunciations? No. Veblenian. V E B L I N I A N. Gervais. Miranda added chives and garlic to her gervais before spreading it on her bagel. Gervais. Gervais, may I have the origin, please? It's from a U.S. registered trademark. Gervais, may I have the definition, please? A soft French cream cheese. Could you use it in a sentence again? Miranda added chives and garlic to her gervais before spreading it on her bagel. Gervais, is that correct? Yes. Gervais. Is that correct? Gervais? Yes. yes. Gervais. G I R V A Y. Gervais. Opitoscope. Mr. Peterson used a simple opitoscope to compare the sounds of different musical instruments. Opitoscope. Opitoscope. Can I have the definition, please? An instrument using light rays, a flexible membrane, and a mirror to exhibit the vibratory motions caused by sounds. May I have the language of origin? It's from Greek. Opitoscope. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Is it a noun? It is a noun. Opitoscope. O P E I D O S C O P E Opidoscope. A prowm. 
Terence used a pram to darken the mahogany he had bought for his new dining room floor. A pram. Let me just make sure I'm saying that correctly. A pram. A pram. Yes. Can I have the language of origin? It's from German. Can I have the definition? A red ochre used to darken mahogany. Are there any alternative pronunciations? No. Am I pronouncing it correctly, Opraum? No, no. Opraum. Opraum. A P R A U M. Opraum. Suzerain. In ancient Israel, a treaty between a suzerain and a vassal had a prescribed format. Suzerain. What's the definition? A dominant state exercising varying degrees of control over a vassal state with regard to its foreign relations, but allowing its sovereign authority in its internal affairs. Um, what's the language of origin? The first part of this word went from Latin to French, and the second part is from French. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Suzerain, Suzerain. S O U Z E R A I N E, Suzerain. Achondroplasia. David was born with achondroplasia, a genetic disorder that results in an average-sized torso and short arms and legs. Achondroplasia. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Achondroplasia. May you please repeat the word? Achondroplasia. Can I have the definition? Failure of normal development of cartilage resulting in dwarfism. Can I have the language of origin? It consists of three Greek elements. Can you please repeat the word? Achondroplasia. Achondroplasia. A C H O N D R A P L A G I A. Achondroplasia. Iterbium. The mineral containing iterbium was first found in 1878 in the town of Iterbi, Sweden. Iterbium. Iterbium. May I have the language of origin, please? It's from a Swedish geographical name that passed through Latin. May I have the definition? A metallic element of the rare earth group that resembles yttrium and occurs with it and related elements in several minerals. Iterbium. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Iterbium. I T U R B I U M. Blastomycete. The logger's disease was caused by a blastomycete that thrives in the vicinity of pine trees. Blastomycete. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Blastomycete? Yes. May I please have the language of origin? Both parts are originally Greek. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Blastomycete. Could you repeat the original pronunciation? Blastomycete. May I please have the definition? A fungus of a group of pathogenic fungi growing trop or typically like yeast by budding. Blastomycete. Okay, blastomycete. B L A S T O M Y C E T E. Blastomycete. Tamandua. Lacking teeth, the tamandua uses its gizzard to break down food. Tamandua. 
May I please have the definition? Neither of two semi-arboreal anteaters of Central and South America that are light tan to brown with a large black band on the sides of the body have a nearly hairless prehensile tail and feed on ants, termites, and sometimes bees. May I please have the word again? Tamandua. Tamandua. T-O-M-A-N-D-U-A. Tamandua. Foie gras. Because foie gras is made by force feeding the goose, many believe its production to be unethical. Foie gras. Foie gras. May I have the definition, please? Fat liver, especially of a goose, usually in the form of a pate, puree, or terrine. Foie gras. May I have the language of origin, please? It's from French. Foie gras. F O I E. G R A S foie gras. Urisk. When Ur Sheila fell asleep during her picnic in the woods, she dreamed that an urisk was braiding her hair. Urisk. Urisk. May I have the definition? A good natured goblin believed to perform helpful services during the night held in Scottish folklore to frequent sequestered places and waterfalls. Urisk. Can I have the language of origin? It's from Scottish Gaelic. Urisk. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Um, can you give me the part of speech? It's a noun. Urisk. Urisk. U-R-I-S-K. Urisk. Corrigum. The zoo recently obtained a reddish-orange corrigum from Senegal. Corrigum. May I have a language of origin? It's from Kanuri, an African language. May I have a definition? A reddish fawn antelope of Western Africa having black markings. Am I saying it correctly? Corrigum? Yes, I believe so. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Can you repeat the language of origin? It's from Kanuri, an African language. Kargum. 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 K A R A G U M. Kargum. Does that complete our round? It does. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I sort of lost yeah. track there, Brian. Yeah. Sharon? In fact, it uh, does finish round five from an original field of 44 spellers. We are now down to the final six. And because we are down to the final six spellers, we're going to go on until the end. Yep, we're going to go on until there's no break, but we're going to take one last break here first.